The first two are drugs and illegal guns, and it's not just happening in faraway lands. Just last month, six men were charged with trying to buy sex with underage girls after an undercover sting operation in Dakota County. Earlier this year, five St. Paul residents were charged with running a multi-state sex trafficking ring. One of the alleged victims was only 16 years old. And in February, a man was indicted in federal court. His alleged crime? Trafficking a 12-year-old girl from Rochester, Minnesota. She received a text message inviting her to a party that she thought was from a friend, but was actually from a sex trafficker. He picked her up in a McDonald's parking lot, threatened to abandon her, and then raped her. Then another person took her to a hotel in another city and forced her to take explicit pictures of herself that were posted online. She then was sold to two more men. Four times stories like these are why I worked with Republican Senator John Cornyn of Texas to pass the Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act, which tackles sex trafficking uh, head on to ensure that we're putting victims' needs first. The new law includes my bill to help ensure that minors sold to No, sex not yet. There are no eyes yet, but I, un I understand that you snowed earlier today. The law, which passed our legislature and now has passed on the federal level, gives incentives to states when they're applying for federal grants to have a safe harbor Be nice. in place. Fifteen states across the country already have comprehensive safe harbor laws, and at least 12 more states are making good progress in that direction. So we're not starting from scratch. The law also creates a national strategy to combat human trafficking. It will encourage cooperation and coordination from all agencies who work on the problem. We also need to be giving sex trafficking victims the right support with job training and skills building. It allows victims of sex trafficking under the law to participate in the job support program to help them get back on their feet. One of the things that's really inspiring about working to end sex trafficking is that it's an issue that brings everyone together all faiths, political beliefs, and backgrounds. And that's crucial, because ending human trafficking once and for all will take all hands on deck at the local, state, and federal levels. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the work you're doing to end human trafficking and to provide a safe place for victims to get their lives back. Thank you for being the guardian angels for people that you maybe have never met, whose names you may never know. You're doing it because you know it's the right thing to do. Enjoy the rest of the dinner. You deserve it. Thanks for joining. That was Senator Amy Klobuchar in Minnesota. She was supposed to be here tonight, but she couldn't make it. She sent a video message. Our next speakers are from United One Front, an organization that does a massive job of training and educating. And uh, they're going to come and speak to us now. Thanks Thank you guys. 